In this video, I'm talking about testosterone replacement therapy. <gasps> testosterone! If you've been having less energy, less motivation, struggling with concentration, or even noticing a dip in your physical performance or sexual desire, maybe you have low testosterone. Stick around until the end of the video and you'll find out if testosterone replacement is right for you. First thing first, you're not alone. Somewhere between 10 to 40% of men around the world experience some level of testosterone deficiency. And yes, the situation can get worse as men age. So if you're feeling like you're running on empty, this could be part of the reason. Okay, so what number actually counts as low testosterone? According to both Endocrine Society and the American Urologicals Association, if your early morning testosterone level is less than 300, that's considered low. But don't panic just yet. This should be repeated to confirm the diagnosis, and further tests are usually done to figure out if your testes are the main issue or if there's something else going on, like a problem with the brain. Now let's talk about symptoms. What does low testosterone look like? Well, you might notice a whole range of things, including decreased erection, I can't get it up, loss of body hair, my smaller testes, infertility, and decreased energy. <sighs> Some guys even feel sad or unmotivated, have poor concentration or memory, and experience sleep problems. Physically, it can show up as a mild anemia, reduced muscle mass and strength, increased body fat, or just overall decline in physical or work performance. All right, so what can TRT or testosterone replacement therapy do for you? It has shown to improve sexual function, reduce depressive symptoms, increase bone density, and boost lean body mass. But and this is a big but, studies haven't really shown much improvement when it comes to energy level, physical function, or cognition. So if you're hoping TRT will turn you into a superhero overnight, well, you might be a little bit disappointed. <laughs> now for the million dollar question, what's the catch? TRT has had a bit of controversial past because earlier studies suggested it could increase the risk of heart attack or stroke. Wait, what? But hold on, newer studies are telling a different story. In fact, a larger study involving 83,000 men in the VA showed that TRT was actually linked to decreased mortality and lower risk of heart attack and stroke in treated men. Now, there's still some caution here though. TRT can increase your red blood cells count, a condition called erythrocytosis. This can cause problems like blood clots. It's something to keep an eye on. And while there's little evidence to link TRT with prostate cancer, it's still good to be cautious with any prostate issues or symptoms. So who shouldn't be using TRT? Well, if you have certain conditions like breast cancer, elevated hematocrit, that red blood cell count that we talked about, or heart attack, stroke in the past six months, TRT isn't for you. And even though we said TRT doesn't increase the risk of heart attacks, it's better to play it safe. Also, if you have prostate cancer or a PSA level above four, uncontrolled heart failure, TRT is off the table for you. Let's talk about option now. How can you actually get testosterone into your system? Well, it comes in several forms. Gels or creams that you apply to the skin. And that's what it looks like. It's a gel. And you'll apply it to the underarm, which is the thinnest part of your arm. Injectables for those who aren't afraid of needles. Insert fast. And then inject really slow. And lastly, you want to inject in an area that doesn't hurt very much. Muscle hurts, fat doesn't. So this is the most common place that people have fat. So inject into the abdomen. It's far more comfortable than into the muscle. Pellets that are implanted under the skin, oral tablets that you take through your mouth, then transdermal patches. Once you're started on TRT, there are some things to keep an eye on. You'll need to have your testosterone level, hematocrit, and PSA, the prostate level, checked regularly, usually every year. The goal? to get your testosterone level between 300 to 900 and improve those symptoms of testosterone deficiency. So if you're feeling off and suspect low testosterone level might be the issue, talk to your doctor. It could be the key to feeling more like yourself again. Just make sure you're doing it safely and under the right supervision. Thanks for watching everyone. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring the bell icon so you don't miss any future updates. And always stay healthy, stay informed, and take care of yourself.